So this is an update to my hydrolyzer vlog. I'm basically planning on discontinuing my research in this area. It's uh, I guess to really explain why I'd have to sort of get into the basic design ideology or philosophy that I kind of hold on to and that is don't be stupid and uh, from my point of view like the whole process of electrolysis or at least um, splitting water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen um, you know I've heard the term free energy and I think that's ridiculous um, this is not free energy and furthermore it's really dangerous Hi, the combination of hydrogen and oxygen gas is basically nothing less than a high explosive and I think the idea of wanting to apply this to something that would be mass produced is both unethical and kind of insane um, not that it uh, couldn't potentially work and be a fuel source but you really have to ask yourself is that a good solution? Is that the best solution? And I'd say the answer is quite clearly no. Even the most modern internal combustion engine, um, 80 percent of the energy released in that thermodynamic process is waste heat. So um, I'd say quite clearly that is sort of grossly inefficient and no matter what kind of fuel you're using that is a process that is inherently wasteful and uh, processes that are wasteful are not um, smiled upon by nature um, personally I view them as uh, dead ends vestigial um, and adding the sort of the dangerous element of even a hydrogen on demand system it just it doesn't make sense to me so even though I've created the design for what may be the most efficient um, hydrolyzer ever designed I still think that it's a really stupid idea to want to use these gases for fuel and I can't really think of any other good application for to breaking down water into its basic molecules and uh there was one other thing I wanted to mention. Uh, also, there's the fact of the matter is that even though on on the, this planet there's an abundance of water, um, I think it's a very precious resource, and to decide to use water as fuel, especially the kind of water that you know people are going to want to be using as a fuel even though it's a pretty efficient um, process as far as the amount of gas that you get for the volume of water that is you know um, broken down it's uh... it's not it's not a good idea it's just kind of like how uh... corn is being used for ethanol production you know there are all these unintended consequences of using certain substances as a fuel source and all of that comes down to sort of the bottleneck which is the internal combustion engine which is in in and of itself a very very stupid idea and it really it's like the incandescent light bulb it should be banned um, there are better solutions like electromagnetic motors and really why are we still using this um, technology which you know should be in a museum I really don't know uh, there as far as intellectual capital and innovation and as far as how we could be applying these new technologies uh, solar and elect electromagnetic motors and battery technology to power you know our locomotion is we have it we have it now we could we could be doing this anytime. It's just the greed and stupidity of corporations that is preventing 
you know, these new technologies from supplanting the old and busted models. So, you know, that's my way too long explanation for why I'm discontinuing this uh, vlog, but basically it all comes down to uh, philo design philosophy, which is, you know, simple and elegant is superior to complex and stupid and uh, dangerous. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.